Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh. Oh, I look so good. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Ah, look at the little munchlax! Oh man, it looks so good. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Choose a photo from the lineup. I think I'm gonna go with the original sprite, because... Dawn was... An acceptable character for this uh, for this game. Your name is Kaiza. Okay, so you're Kaiza. A fine name that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Oh no. Oh no, I have no viewers to give me names. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna move this over a little bit so I can see if I drop frames. Ah, oh. hi, Nord. You know, Mike gave Mike Mike gave me the game. I'm gonna name him Mike. He did. He is the one that gave me the name the game. So I'm gonna name it after the guy that gave me the game. All right, guys, the time is done. The time has come. I can speak today. I swear. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now, go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Oh, man. How are you, Nord? Merry Christmas! Ooh, intense music. Despite the exploration team's best effort, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluding detection the rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilives TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel! Oh, look at the little character sprite! I'm not the biggest fan of the art of the character design. But it's still adorable. Good. Merry Christmas. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's been... I have my ugly Christmas sweater on as uh, necessary. So this is the one time of year that it's acceptable to wear my ugly Christmas sweater. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. And it's also Taco Bell. <laughs> really. It's so it's, it's perfect. The people that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon trainers. Okay. Nintendo Switch. It's the latest ga uh, game console, Nintendo Switch! That'll be outdated eventually. Oh my god, you can sleep. Okay, wake the fuck up. We don't got time for sleep in here. The X button opens the menu. It does! It was not lying! <laughs> we have jack shit and. Oh my god, hold on. We have eight grand! <laughs> That's a lot of money! Okay, hold on. We got it first. Bump this shit up. Hold on. Change window. No! I like that one. Ew, rich boys. I know, I know. We're starting rich this season. This season? This game? Uh, I think this was the best one. Battle effects are gonna be on. Battle style is gonna be switched. Send, ma send to boxes. Manual or automatic? We're gonna do manual. Give nicknames. Ah! Give nicknames I'm gonna give. Gyroscope, sure. Autosave on. Show nicknames, show. Background music, that an eight. That's fine, fine, fine. Alright. Confirm. Your settings have been saved. Good. 
Oh, wait. You open up the thing and it tells you what to do. Send it and then... Ah. Wait. R to save. Did I just hit R? No. Ah. Uh. We're not gonna save yet. We haven't done shit. Hello, mother! Hi, guys. A mic came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it's about, but he said it was an emergency. Cool. Here we are, the Contest Digest. The star of the show in today's normal rank cleverness contest is... Wesley, who won this particularly well-groomed Pokemon. It's all, it's all the time we have for today. Let's meet again. That's a chancy. You are as tall as your mother. I'm a little shorter than my mom. Just a little bit. Hold on, let me see if I can line up. Oh, line up. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, close enough. I'm a little shorter. Look at these gra- look at these old potato chips that are just sitting on- It looks like potato chips. This is where mom does all our delicious cooking. That's literally a clover. Do not put that in the food, mom. That might kill us. Oh yes, guys, that don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It'd be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... It's all in the hair. <laughs> it's all in the hair. Hello, fat guy that's always here. Technology just blows me away. I mean, how can you play with po uh, with people around the world wirelessly? I know. Oh god, Victor's gonna attack the TV screen. I have his favorite TV show playing in the background just to distract him a little bit. Hello, old lady. Did you hear the Pokemon professor returned to the next town over? Blech. They say he's gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Listen, listen, guys, I want a cute Pokemon. Okay, that doesn't seem like... How do you know my name? How do you know my name, kid? That's the professor's house. Uh, It's true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes. However, Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Yes, that is true. That's the professor's house. I believe this is the uh, friend house. No! You're off to hang with Mike again, right? You two sure are tight. Cool. Thanks, random guy who apparently knows all my festivities and relationships with people. I appreciate you. Thud. Play a real game. Hi, Adam. <laughs> How's work going, man? Thud. That's good. What was that about? Oh, hey, guys. I'm going to I'm going to the lake. You should come, too. And be quick about it. Oh, guys, I'm finding you one million poke dollars if you're late. Bye. Stops. Drama! What's up, Drama? Oh, jeez, forgot something. Okay, bye. This guy has ADHD. This guy has ADHD. Work? Should be at work. Whether there's a plane or not is a whole different story. Oh, hi, Kaizen. Did you come calling on Mike? He's gone for a second, but then he came running back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. How do you do? Me and Mike are at Taco Bell at the moment. I'm wearing their sweater. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys were actually at Taco Bell. I better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, we're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million poke dollar fine if you're late. Okay, run. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, bring me some tacos. I know, right? How rude. I don't like that we can't run. Wait. Go meet Mike. Okay, we're going to the lake. That's right. Hi, guys. Are you looking for Mike? You just went to- I like how the entire town knows us and <laughs> knows what our things are- Like, what we were doing. Hey, you saw the news report on that TV, right? You, you know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance on the Furious Pokemon in a lake? That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find Pokemon like that. Oh, okay, come on. Come on, kid. Come on, ADH, ADHB boy. Come on, come on. Uh, I lost my sub. Give me one sec. <laughs> come on, ADHB boy. Alright, to the lake. Let's find a red Gyarados. Yes, Gyarados. Victor's, <laughs> Victor's pretty talking by the TV screen. I left Shulip on for him on mute. What's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine. It's enough. 
that we have seen. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear your complaints, Victor, <laughs> but they're not valid. We we had a nap together. You had plenty of love. Give me some hugs. Give me some hugs. You always choose the word. Go watch your show. I, I left your show on to distract you. I mean, give you entertainment. Uh, no. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Mm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well indeed regard regarding our studies. I that's not what that sentence says, but it's close enough. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Yes, cat. Offers are hard. Ah Hey Mike, thank you so much for the six months. All the wows. Sorry, folks. Okay, Victor. Yep. What was that about? Those two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Victor. Yep. Huh? Kaisa, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into tall grass. No problem, no problem. We can be in there. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond! Yes! You gave me the game, so the, my, the, the character is named after you. I felt like that was appropriate. It's a briefcase. Those Pokemon- Those people forgot to hear that. Pokemon forgot his briefcase. Hi. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Oh no, not Starly. Wah! Pokemon! What's going on? Look, those are Poke- <coughs> Look, those are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want? Uh, I think I want- Oh, I don't know. Piplup? Chimchar? Or Turtwig? Oh, I used Piplup in my first playthrough. <sighs> you know what? We're gonna go Turtwig. I never see enough Turtwig love. Let's go some Turtwigs. Ugh. You strapped your paw in my mouth and now I have. Oh, you're gonna fall asleep like that. Okay, that seems good. Go, Turtwig! Ah, oh, it's not shiny. We had a 1 in 12,000 chance. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, the remakes are always so nice. Oh, we have a speed tie. Why do we have a speed tie? We would have knocked it out if there wasn't a speed tie! Ah, uh, it's fine. It's down. It's only a level 2! Shouldn't take 3 hits! Whatever. Hey, Nora, thank you so much for the resubscription with your Prime for eight months. God damn, eight months. I've been doing this for a minute. Hi, Victor. Why? Your turn to totally rocked. But my chim chart was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. We had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Whew, you found the briefcase? The professor would have gone off the roof if I if it, the professor would have gone off the roof if he knew I forgot it here. Huh? What? Did you guys did you guys use the Pokemon? Oh man, how am I gonna explain this to the professor? This is the professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? I leveled up that Pokemon for you, damn it! What was that all about? I don't know what's going on, Kaiser. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. It's not our Pokemon. Why do you still have it? We shouldn't still have it. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little bit more time with this little guy. So you follow me anyway. I wish I could run, but I can't! Hey, it's those people! Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab! <laughs> huh? Yeah, of course. Professor, wait for me! You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you! 
Okay, bye, Lucas. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he would have just yelled at us or whatever. Did Danny want his Pokemon back? Guys, we should go home too. Okay. Shadow! What's up, Shadow? How you doing? Merry Christmas! Oh, God. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Mike are unharmed? Hope all is well. All is pretty good. I have a cat, you know, like right here, trying to bite me every once in a while. Life's good. The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sangum Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Are you falling asleep on me like this? Kaiza, I think you need to visit him in Sangum Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know. Kaiza, put these on. Thank you! <laughs> Going to Sangum Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the directions that are clearly not for, uh, breaking the fourth wall. Tilt the left stick back firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Oh. You don't have to hold- Oh my god, you don't have to hold B. This is all new kind of gaming. Tilt the left stick firmly. Wow, you don't have to hold B! But on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure! Well, isn't that just nifty? I can run without holding B! I don't even have to hold this joystick! Look at that! Ah! Touching it! Merry Christmas, Drama, Nord, Shadow, and anyone else in chat. I don't think any is anyone else Adam! Adam's the other one in chat. Oh my god, it's a whole new world. No! Give me my potion! Fine, whatever. Did Diamond not have a potion in the PC? I swear Diamond had a potion in the PC. Every other every other fucking game had a potion in the PC. You know? This was this was Mike's house. Out, out, out. Oh my god, I don't have to hold two joysticks. I have free will of this hand until I get into a Pokemon battle. Like that. <laughs> ah, it's a Starly! Starly will 100% be on our team. Go, Dirtwig! God damn it, this is a fast Starly. Yes, Victor. God damn it, it's only a level two, man! Ow. Adam is no longer in chat. I told him in person, you said go fuck yourself. Pass this along to Adam for me, will ya? Thanks. Ugh. Victor, you stay. Oh god. This chair. I swear to god. Ugh. <sighs> Hello, lady. Lady. Wow, Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They come bustling out at any time. So if you're worrying about wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. I think she's talking about the tall grass. I don't know. If your Pokemon's health, its HP is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Does sleeping in that bed actually count towards, uh... Yes. Yes, give me your potion. Give me the potion! Give me the potion! Thank you. Obtain potions. Oh, that's multiple. Did you actually give me multiple? You gave me ten potions?! The fuck?! <laughs> this game is generous! What the hell? What the actual fuck? Okay, we never checked on uh, on tor tor tw bleh, our our twig Pokemon. All right, Grass type Pokemon level one. It's a male. Pokemon is brave. I can't remember what that does to the because <sighs> it ups attack and down speed. Okay, at the time this Pokemon was level five, it's mischievous and likes spicy food. 
Oh, why is it? Okay. I'm holding B, even though I don't have to. It's a Badoof! Oh my god, the 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 characters, not the characters, the Pokemon's fucking uh, sprites look so good. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with how this game turned out. Like, it looks so nice. If this is what Pokemon Arceus is gonna look like, I am excited for that game. We have to finish this game, which will be easy, before the end of January in order to play Pokemon Arceus next on the channel. Because I really want to stream that game. I'm getting it the day it comes out. I'm going to pre-order it. Hello, kid. That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twinleaf Town. No thanks. Lucas! Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The professor is waiting to see you. Why'd you shorten professor? See, this is the Pokemon Research Lab. We'll go, just go ahead and, uh... <sighs> Fucking Mike. What the? Oh, it's you, Kaiza. That old guy, he's not so... He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Kaiza. I'm out of here. See you later! What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, you've come, Kaiza. Finally, you've come. Kaiza, what? Kaiza, was it? Bleh. Finally, you've come. Kaiza, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty, then. I'll give you that tur twig as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? What should I name the tur twig? What should I name the Turtwig? I don't know a good name for Torterra. I could just name it Terra. <laughs> T-E-R-R-A, Terra. Terra? T-E-R-R-A? That's not how you spell it. I'm gonna name him Toga. Toga. Or, uh... It's a male, though. Uh... I will name him Doga. I don't know why. Name him Dimwit! <sighs> sure. Your friend Mike told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Turtwig. Am I ever glad you're kind towards Pokemon? If you weren't- Well, I don't even want to think about it. Fucking white man. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yes. Good answer! That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Kaiza, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokedex as you. When you walk up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did it feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Guys, your grand adventure begins right now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the page Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades, working towards the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Professor Rowan invited a new invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. I'm Lucas's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. Ha! <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Okay, dimwit. 
Time to go save the world! I'm only 10. Hey, Kaiser, I want to show you a few things, so follow me. This is the Pokemon Center. It's where you heal Pokemon. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Kaiser, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very, buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh yeah, right. Kaiser, you should let your family know you're helping Professor Rowan put together his Pokedex. You may have to travel pretty far, so you should, you should let somebody know. Oh, but first, go heal your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. You'll be safe then. Okay, I'll be seeing you. Can, can I go south first? I want to go south first. There's typically stuff south. Hello, lady. So I don't forget what's happened until now. I better save this. There, now I can take a break. Okay, you literally just saved your game. Uh, yeah, there's a Pokemon ball. ball over here. Okay, get around the rock. Found an antidote. Cool. Okay, well, we can't do anything else over there for right now, which is fine. It's a little strange getting into doors, probably just because I'm not used to the art style yet. And the play style. Who are you? Oh, you're Kaiza. You're doing that Pokedex thingy for the professor. Wow, that's the same as my big brother. Go for it. Oh god, I didn't mean to leave. I meant to talk to the old man. Please let me back into your house. Thank you. Hello, old man. Ah, so that Rowan fellow is back. He's quite the remarkable man. He's been studying Pokemon since way, way back. My son and grandchild help Rowan with his studies now. Ah, so you're the father of the father of Lucas. You're Lucas's grandfather. <laughs> Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Always check trash cans. Empty. Cool. I like that the TV actually has like a display on it. That's really nice. That thing you have there is a Pokedex, isn't it? Now you're off to see all kinds of Pokemon. Lucky you. I am. But first I'm gonna go off and see this house. Pokemon grow steadily stronger from battling against other Pokemon. At first you should heal your Pokemon regularly at Pokemon Centers while you're leveling them up. Nah. A good trainer is one that takes care to not let their Pokemon faint from losing HP. Yeah, Dimwood's fine. Dimwood's fine. Eh, Dimwit needs a healing. <laughs> Come on, Dimwit. In the Pokemon Center. I just phased through that wall. Hello, Nurse Joy. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. Hope to see you again! So you hope my Pokemon get hurt. That's nice. Show us all your Pokemon. Local club is on the top floor. That's where we wirelessly connect. Did you see that PC over there? It's a fancy blue one. If you got Pokemon with you, it's free to use. I'm very sorry we're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Please try again later. Okay, maybe that's something that you do after... Uh, whatchamacallit? After the Elite Four? We can pretty much avoid all the grass, so we're gonna do that just for time's sake. Mom! Mom, I'm 10 years old. I'm going on an adventure by myself with this little tiny Pokemon that may or may not protect me. Mom! <laughs> Welcome home, Kaiser. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. You're saving Nurse Joy from healing my Pokemon that 12 HP. What's up, Kaiser? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back, even though you're 10 years old and I can't protect you when you're out on your own and there's no cell phones in this world. Oh, I know. Kaiser, I got something useful that, that would be useful. It's a guidebook, because we don't have cell phones. Put the, you put that guidebook in your bag's key items pocket. That's a guidebook. We've said this like 12 times. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, guys. I'll be alright by myself, dear. You go on and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see all kinds of Pokemon you've got, dear. Guidebook. Useful information about your adventure will be added to this guidebook. You can check in your bag, scan, and pocket. Okay, pretty much everything Mom just said. Excuse me, is my little Mike here? Oh, no, he's not. 
Oh! Then he must have already left. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Kaiza will deliver it to him. Won't you, Kaiza? I don't have a choice. Oh, really? You'll do that for me? Kaiza, please take this mic for me. You tamed the parcel. You put the parcel in your bag's key arms pocket. Bye bye, Kaiza. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my mic. Okay. Oh, Kaiza, you're forgetting something important. I am. You walked outside! Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Kaiza. Now, off you- Oh, I didn't even realize I wasn't wearing a hat before. Okay, so the hat marks my, uh, my... The start of my journey. Okay, you brave little dimwit. Off we go! Still only level 5, what the fuck? I have only about, like, two Pokemon. Trainer card. Okay. Let's go save the world! First we gotta go find Mike and Jubilife. Yeah. Dumbass ran off without his, par uh, his parcel. His mom tried to give him some shit and he just ran. Typical. Uh, we're gonna catch a Pokemon in the next town. First and foremost, since they gave us... They gave us eight grand and ten pocus and ten uh potions to start this game. What the fuck? Uh, we have one antidote. I'm going to buy one paralyzed heal, and then I'm going no. I'm going to buy ten pokeballs. I'm gonna buy 20 Pokeballs. That'll keep us with a good little amount of money. Hello, kid. If you come across a Pokemon that you haven't- that you just gotta have, throw a Pokeball! Never leave home without one! Okay. Pokemon loses all its HP, it can't battle anymore. I'm buying lots of potions to avoid having that happen. Well, you don't need to, just go talk to that guy that's right out there and he'll give you like 10. Hello, Lucas. Oh, I'm not aligned. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, you gotta pick up stuff down. Kaisa, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? I'll demonstrate how to catch one, just so you know, okay? So just watch. Because I haven't played this game for fuck many years. Bye, dude. I've played this game for far too long, Lucas. Lucas, I've played this game longer than you've been programmed. Lucas, listen. Piplup, he's pound. That did one HP. Alright, his HP is down. Time to throw a Pokeball. It's not... You can hit it again. I can confidently say you can hit that Bidoof again. You've already used... a potion. I see that guy also gave you a potion over on that route, though. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP some more. I tried to tell you that. Yep, the important thing is to lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. Oh yeah, they also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep or such. Here, because I'll give you some Pokeballs to get you started. How many did you just give me? If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be able to travel faster. That way you'll have a better shot at meeting more Pokemon. See you around! <sighs> How many did you just give me? I had 20. You gave me 20. <laughs> okay, kid. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a thing in the system to where the first bo- Hi, Badoof. The first Pokemon that you encounter in this grass is 100%. Uh, its catch rate is 100%. I don't want a Badoof. Sorry, Badoof. I really don't want you. Damn what use tackle. Damn what use tackle. 
Should we catch it just because it's the first Pokemon that we're encountering? I will literally- I'm gonna catch it just because it's the first Pokemon we're encountering. Oh, I love- I love- I love that they have that button to just- Pokeball. I don't have to go into my bag and such. Come on. Come on, Bidoof. See, this is the guy I would have named Dimwit. Yeah. Yeah, I- I don't know if it was actually 100% catch rate or if, uh... Dimwit grew to level 6! Leaf aid. Whoa. <laughs> That's a strong level 6 move. Bidoof Zeta will be added to the Pokedex. Plump mouse Pokemon. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it? Preturb it? Perturb it? It is more agile and active than it appears. Okay. Would you like to be give Bidoof a nickname? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna name him... First blood. First blood has been added to your party. <laughs> Let's go, Badoof. Okay, now I do want a Starly. If this is a Starly, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, I like that the sky is changing colors. It's so pretty. Okay, so, uh. Let's see what Leafage looks like. If this kills the Starly, that's not my fault. It says it's not very effective. Okay. We can go for another one of those. It was a crit! We could technically go for one more. I'm really surprised Turtwig learns a leaf type or a grass type move. Woo! Crit! <laughs> Sorry, Starly. You were gonna go on my team. I decided to kill you instead. Sorry! I had every intention of uh, capturing you and taking you with me. Okay, this grass is just for Bidoofs. Oh well. We can attack it and get some levels. Ow! Ugh. Damn, wait, use leafage. That's not a bad amount of the uh, damage, actually. Then what's attack fail? Then what? Use leafage. Yeah, that's right. Go down, you Bidoof. First blood might actually get a level. <laughs> oh my God, Starly Bidoof. Okay, this grass is only for Bidoofs. I have, uh, can confirm. 100% can confirm. And this is a weak Bidoof at that. We are definitely gonna need to go to the Pokemon Center after we catch our Starly. Level 7! First blood grew to level four. Good job, guys. Starly? Okay. I'm not learning my lesson. This first patch of grass is literally only Bidoofs, and you can only find Bidoofs, apparently. This is the Bidoof mating ground. We have stumbled upon it, and we are disrupting their mating rituals of uh, being in this one patch and not leaving this one patch. But see, if I move just slightly over to the left into that next patch of grass right here. Look at this Starly right here. <laughs> oh my god, really? Okay. Uh, we're gonna tackle it. He's also going to tackle us. That's going to do three. We're going to tackle it once. Oof. We're going to actually just throw a Pokeball. The Pokeball animation is interesting this game. Nice. Was this a male or a female? It doesn't matter. 
Starly Zane will be added to the Pokedex. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. With great power comes great responsibility. It's a female. That's okay. We're still aiming your top gun. Starlies are always top gun because Star Raptors are top gun. Okay, First Blood, you're actually going in the PC. I'm going to heal you all. Uh, but Dimwit and Top Gun are our two Pokemon of choice. I'll heal you. I'll give you a little bit of love because you are our first blood. But, um. No, no, Nurse Joy, you did your job. Thank you. Someone's PC. Okay, first, first blood, come here. There you are. Let's check out Top Gun real fast. What is she like? Flying normal, we knew that. Uh, okay. Oh, I like- I haven't seen the, uh, the new symbol for this region. Not bad. Not mad at it. Okay, we're- we're- okay. This Pokemon is gentle by nature. We've met one on this route at this time. Level 4, quick-tempered, bitter food. Okay, so its defense is down, but its special defense is up. That's not the worst. Uh, I don't hate it. Tackle. Tackle and growl. Not, again, not the worst. I will take it. Let's go, Top Gun. We are going to take a little bit of time to... Not, we don't have to switch train, which is nice. It's just auto... Auto-filled. Auto-separated. Now there's a Starly in this grass. Okay. Go, Dimwit! Why can't your bird fly? Because it's still just a bobby. Were you able to fly when you were a bobby? I didn't think so. That did literal nothing. This one has really high defense. If someone threw me hard enough, I can. That's fair. Okay, Starly, listen. I'm not enjoying you dropping my attack every single time. Uh oh. Please just go down. Thank you. A crit! Dimwit grew to level 8. Good job, Dimwit. Nope, not either. Hello. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so we must battle! Trainer Joey? No, Trainer Tristan. Youngster Tristan. Youngster Tristan is dead out Starly. Yo, Dimwit! Such an appropriate name for Terra Twig. Dimwit, use Tackle. Use Quick Attack. Ah, oh, so you get Quick Attack at level 5. Good to know. Drop. Top Gun drew to level 5. Learn quick attack. There it is. Devia, youngster Tristan. Too strong, too strong! That's right, kid. Give me your money. What is our HP looking at? Ah, it's looking at about half. I am just going to use a potion just so we don't have to run all the way back. Uh, well... I don't want to heal just 14 HP. We'll be fine. I spy with my little eye a trainer. A battle, please. You're challenged by less Natalie. Last Natalie said out Badoof. Badoof. 
Let's go, Dimwit! Tackle! Uh, why you gotta use Growl, man? I don't appreciate you dropping my attack. Sent out another Badoof. Then we we'll use Daggle. Man, the sweater smells like it's been sitting in the closet for a year. <laughs> oh, boo! I can't win! Okay. 11 out of 28. I don't feel still like it's necessary to turn around. Starly! Now I feel like it's necessary to use a potion. After this battle. Speed tie? No. Starly fainted! Damn it, grew to level 9! Top Gun grew to level 6! Let's just go ahead and use a potion. I don't feel like running all the way back. You still have plenty of tackles and everything. Hello, kid. Come here. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Youngster Logan. Sent out a Shanks. Go, dimwit! Intimidate. Ah, that's minus two. I don't like minus twos. Oh, you're a level five too. Use tackle. Got to use the potion. Let's use leafage. Let's see how much damage it does. We do have same time attack bonus. Okay, hi. Same time attack bonus does wonders, apparently. To be a youngster Logan. You're like, wow! Oh, Shanks! Oh, should we catch it? I do like Shanks. I do love little Shinx. And it has Intimidate. Ooh, I'm catching it. And it's a male. We can name him Sparky. You're a temporary member, Shinx. Come on, let's go. Shinx was caught. All of its fur dazzles with dangerous scents. It flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. Yes, I would like to give him a name. Thank you. The most creative uh, nickname for a uh, electric type ever. Sparky. Sparky has been added to your party. Thank you. Some Pokemon only appear in the morning, so only come out at night. I'm going to keep waiting right here till I've seen every last one of them. They're not all gonna appear right here, though. Found a potion. If I'm not mistaken, there was like a hidden one. Maybe not. Oh, there's a hidden Pokemon. It's another Jinx. Go! Damn it! Oh, 
Okay. Top Gun, you're to level 7. Let's see. What are po what what spark you like? This Pokemon was pretty quirky by nature. We first met on another one another on 12, 25, 21, and it was on Route 202. At the time, this Pokemon was level 4. It's proud of its power and it happily eats anything. So it's a very uh neutral nature. Has intimidate. What does the other Pokemon have? Keen eye pre prevents Pokemon from lowering its accuracy and overgrow, which is typical for a starter Pokemon to have. Oh, of course. Badoof! Dimwit's attack fell. A crit! An unnecessary crit! It's always an unnecessary crit. Never a necessary one. Alright. Welcome to Jubilife. Lucas! Hey, guys, how many Pokemon have you got? Huh, I think you should catch some more. It might be one of a challenge raising a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. The more Pokemon you have, the happier you'll be. In Jubilife City, there's the trainer school. Check it out, Kaiser. Oh yeah, Mike went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, see you around. Work hard on your Pokedex! City of Joy. Victor's watching his show very closely to the TV. Hello there, trainer. If you get stumped, you don't know what to do. Talk to people. Talk to everyone you see. Go places. Go wherever you can. You'll find many places just by doing that. You gonna give me anything? No. I'm not really interested in actually talking to everyone. I just want to see if they give me shit. Hello. You know, I did know that some Pokemon evolve. I've played this game for a little while. Something about evolution. Seems good. Bye, guys. You keep sitting up here until the next player comes around, okay? Good job. Bum, 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 bum. You kids are having ice cream. No, you're playing your Switch. I'm training Pokemon with my buddy. Hello, trainer. Do you know much about Pokemon? I do know a lot about Pokemon. I see how you're quite well versed. I imagine you won't be needing to go to the trainer school, but if you visit and you have the time, you may discover something new. I doubt it. I've gone to the Pokemon school a couple times in my gaming career. I wrote an essay in my notebook on what makes true Pokemon trainers. Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with human-made items like potions and antidotes. If I remember these two battle. Battling is the best way you can learn. Can we get a battle with you? Go, my Pokemon! Go! Okay, nerd. School kid Harrison. Sent out an Abra. Charge beam. It's not gonna do too much, thankfully. Again, it's gonna do like 2 HP. 3. Then what? Use tackle! Level 10, nice. Learned growth, nice. Sparky loot grew to level 5, nice. School kid Harrison. Oh snap, is that how it is then? Give me a little bit of money, thank you. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but may we battle? I need to try the things I learned before I forget them. Okay. School kid Christine. You also have an Abra. Go, dimwit!
we're gonna see if uh, Leafage does anything more considering the same type of attack bonus is uh, applied. <sighs> Special attack rows, that's fine. There we go. It is only a level 6 Abra. Ta uh, Sparky grew to level 6. Top Gun is very close to leveling up. We were actually confident that we would do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you like, talk to my friend and get some technical machines from him. You? You'd be able to use these technical machines properly. Here you go. TM tens, uh? Okay, hold on. I, I know what workup does. I just need you to hold on. You gave me three. Oh, okay. I don't think you would have had time to use a potion. You just became a trainer, did you? You should look up the topics that you're not familiar with. Well, I'm good. Thanks, though. Hey, Kaisa, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Kaisa, what brings you here? You've got something for me? Deliver the parcel. Boom. Since you ran away from your mother! So, what is this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why, why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Kaisa, you take one. Thanks. Hmm. Well, according to the town map, I guess Ors Orberg City is where I should be going to next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. They didn't run into me this time. Ah, the clown. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wait for your Pokemon full health. See you again. Bye. No! I always click A again. Bye, Nurse Joy. Hello, weird man with big mustache. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Pokédex yet. Pokédex is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my god, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Pokédex. Not only that, I now I'm now conducting the Pokemon promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Pokédex. Well, there's one hiding literally right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do it. You only have six Pokemon in your party at once. That's right. I'm a Pokemon. Hi! I'm a Pokédex campaign clown! Let's roll out my question! Does a Pokemon grow by defending others and gaining experience points? Defeating others. Yes, it does. Ding ding! You're absolutely correct! Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into a different Pokemon through a process known as evolution! Here you go, your Pokédex coupon! That was the most annoying voice I can give a clown. I'm sorry to anybody who's actually listening to this. Jubilife City is built on land carved out of a mountain. The people in Pokemon of Ordberg helped out with undertaking that undertaking, yes. Okay, you went to the trainer school. If you join a group, you compete or cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Uh, not now. Yes, okay, thank you. Hello. Hi! I'm a Pokestack campaign clown! Let's roll out my question! Can a Pokemon hold an item? Ding ding! You're absolutely correct! A Pokemon may hold a single item! Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go, your Pokedex coupon! When you walk with the Pokemon, they're going to go friendlier. 
Okay, they haven't brought that back. Got it. Hi! I'm a Pokédex campaign clown! Let's roll out my question! Just like uh, just like Pokemon do the moves of Pokemon also have types. You're absolutely correct. If Pokemon's type matches the type of move it uses, that move is made much more powerful. Here you go, your Pokédex coupon! I'm surprised there's still three of you after that voice. This building looks like it's underwater. <laughs> just like Pokemon by Pokédex, something that evolves. Good. That's how technology should be. We try to think like trainers that we develop new Pokédex apps. User satisfaction is what we're after. I'm not satisfied with this hallway. This is an unsatisfactory hallway. Pachirisu and a Clefairy. Hello, man. Pokemon Watch, or Pokédex for short. Say it the long way, and what does Pokemon stand for again? <laughs> Anyway, I'm the father of the president of the Pokétech company. Okay, you're going insane. Do you have a Pokétech? There are two models, each in a different color. My husband is the president. We started out in one small workshop where he made whatever he liked. Now we're making something that makes the world happy. Imagine that. People everywhere make the Pokétech apps. You'll be able to get new apps from surprising sources. The PCs have guided guides on the various Pokétech apps. Interesting. I wonder if there's new ones from what there used to be, because I know we used to have a... We used to have a, a step counter. That was really useful, and I would leave up all the time. Or just where my Pokémon were bouncing around in that little square. It was cute. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my Pokédex here and one, two. You need your Pokédex to count to three. Bravo! I say bravo. Every time for these coupons, I present you with this Pokémon Watch or Pokédex for short. You can add apps to your Pokédex to make it even more versatile. Please press the R button and try it out. Press the R button to open your Pokédex control by using the touch screen and hold down the R button to close it. I'm not using my touch screen. I hope they made it so you can play it on the... Okay, you can make it bigger. Calculator, step counter, HP bar. Uh, we'll do this one for now. Boom. We have a bug deck up in the top right. Can we close it? Or is it just constantly up there? It's just consistently up there. Okay, seems good. But I'm glad that you can use it without having to uh, use the actual touchpad. They made it TV friendly. A trainer would simply be lost without a Poketech after all. I was told there was two different colors. Um... Oh, hey, a quick claw. Thank you. This is why you talk to people. Yes, that with the cool scarf. You should have seen the boy who came running through you earlier. He ran past me so quickly that I couldn't even manage a hello. Okay, so Mike ran that way. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of fall over here. A paralysis heal. Whoa. Okay. A shinx. Go! Dimwit! You also have Intimidate. Dimwit used Tackle. No, that's not Dimwit. Shinx used Tackle. The other Dimwit used Tackle. Go to level 8, Top Gun. Nice. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? 
call me weak. You have a Badoof. You only have- it, this better be like a level 12 Badoof after calling me weak. It's level 7. And it's almost dead. Damn what, use leafage! Sparky grew to level 7! Uh, I shouldn't have battled in the first place. No, you really shouldn't have. You shouldn't have called me weak. Oh, you can squeeze through here. Nice. My dad gave me some Pokemon! They're gonna win for me! Yeah, okay. You do have two. I'm proud of you, Tyler. <laughs> but it's a Magikarp. I'm not proud of you anymore, Tyler. If your second Pokemon is a Magikarp, I would go back to your dad and complain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna keep our current Pokemon. At least it's not a Magikarp. You have at least a semi-decent Pokemon here. Hey, Victor. Victor. Lay down, baby. But they're Pokemon I got from my dad. That's a good boy. Eh, no, we're not playing with Buddy. Uh-uh. No. Do not. May I please trouble you for a battle? Eh. We're not playing with the necklace. Oh, you have a Badoo. That's cute. There you go. Lay down. That's a good boy. Ah, oh, you got poison point. Of course you have poison point. Oh my god, you have poison point. What's up, Vic? Tim what? Grew to level 11. Top Gun grew to level 9. Top Gun learned wing attack. Sparky grew to level 8. Sparky learned charge. Oh, you're strong. Okay. Uh, does this game have poison walking? No. You aren't acting much like a Pokemon trainer. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in the Poketech would be able to break through those boulders, though. Oh, so HP HMs are used in the poke attack this time around. That's interesting. Okay. We're gonna go down to the Book One Center, heal Dimwit, and uh, we're gonna go battle Mike. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Restore your tired Pokemon. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. I do like the Poketech in the top right. I'm not gonna lie. It is nice being able to just see my Pokemon's health bars. 
Hello, Mike. Hey, Kaisa! Tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Mike. Sent out Starly. Yo, Dimwit. Don't get cocky, kid. Pokemon Trainer Mike is about to send out Chimchar. Would you switch your Pokemon? I'm going to switch my Pokemon, and I'm actually going to use Top Gun. Go, Top Gun! What's up, Vic? New Scratch. I don't know if Chimchar has a fire type move yet. I'm going to just assume he does. Use wing attack. Use the leer. Uh, that lowers defense. Accuracy. Defense. My bowen's HP is low. This can be a bit tight. Woo! That was a bop and a half. Top gun, you're to level 10. Sparky grew to level 9. What just happened? I lost? That's a weird number of Pokemon dollars. Wow, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City G Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. Okay, bye. That kid has ADHD. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Re restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Thank you for waiting. Re restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Youngster Michael. Send out a Bidoof. Okay, Michael. Listen. Woo. Tim, what's attack fell? Tim won't use leafage. Youngster Michael is about to send out Zubat. No. Used Absorb. There we go. Astonish. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, come on. Dimwit became confused. Dimwit is confused. Dimwit is tackle. Good Dimwit. Oh, 
Oh, my poor Bidoof and Zubat. It's okay, Michael. Not everyone can be smart and train right Pokemon. Found a Pokeball. We're always together. I'll show you how we've bonded. Youngster Dallas. Cricketot. Great. Not very effective. Level 12! It's got me down. Okay, that was a weird zoom. Last Caitlyn. Sorry, Kaylin. Your Bidoof is not strong enough. Let's do this uh, Battle of the Starlies style. Yes, victory. Good job, Top Gun! It was a crit. Jesus Christ. Unnecessary crit. <coughs> and a Badoo. Oh. Huh? You're finished so soon? Victor. Lay down, baby. Give me a bath so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Okay. You're not, but sure. Oh god. Youngster Sebastian. Sent on a Machop. Lay down, baby. That's a good boy. No, we're not biting the necklace. We're not biting the necklace. Defeat a youngster Sebastian. I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. I got a nifty keen gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg Town City. Place. You were challenged by Mas Lass Madeline, who sent out a Starly. Go, Dimwit! Dimwit used Tackle. Dimwit, you couldn't have finished her off. Oh, come here, Vic. Lay down. Lay down, baby boy. Oh, there's my boy. Sparky grew to level 10.
Oh, I lost. La la la. La la la? Okay. Found a repel. Badoof! Oh my god, I took two steps. Oh, hi, Vic. What's up? Yeah, lay down. Good boy. You're not biting the necklace. You're level 11. Yeah, good boy. Wild Starly fainted. Good. Good rinse. Oh, looky here. You got Pokedex. Hmm, you're still bringing your trainer, aren't you? It's all good. You're a new fellow. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me take and give the technical machine to you. Ninety-eights. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. FYI, I've used a technical machine to teach your Pokemon a move that TM will then break. So think very carefully about when to use it. I've also added a new feature to your Pokétech, Rookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app. Use Rock Smash from your Pokétech, and a wild Pokemon will get rid of the boulders in your path. But use this to find you. But use this hidden move in the field. You'll first need to get a gym badge from the Orgburg City. Looking forward to seeing your growth. Use hidden moves from Hidden Moves Pokatech app to remove your bypasser app. That was interesting. Interesting. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. That's what we do. Hi, Mike. Welcome back. Thanks for the lurk. Camper Curtis. Go, Dimwit. Yeah, it's intimidate, of course. Good boy. Huh. Nope, can't. Damn it. I was hoping I was hopeful I could move with the right joystick so I can keep petting my cat. But I can't. So he'll have to wait till uh until I get into battles to get pets. Can you, like, find a spot? <coughs> okay. 
Sometimes you can find a spot to get comfortable, sometimes you can't. Ugh. Lay down, Victor. Get comfortable and lay down, baby. You Psyduck. Interesting. Weather disappeared. Well, there wasn't weather, so that's fine. You are part uh, water type, though, so we are going to just fucking wreck you. Okay. Psyduck? Dimwin grew to level 13! Dimwin wants to move the, move the, move, learn, blah, learn the move Razor Leaf. What will be replaced? Um... Let's do a draw. Damn it, I forgot withdraw. And learn laser la razor. Oh my god, I can't speak. Well, I guess I'm losing I guess losing is something to commemorate too. Is it? Oh god. A Geodude! What's up, Geodude? You, uh, are gonna get wrecked by this turtle. Let's try our new move, Razor Leaf. D yep. Super effective! Okay, Victor. There we go. Thank you. Howdy, trainer! If you don't have a single badge, let the trainers will look down on you like you're a dull noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. And there he is. Huh? Someone's already there! Okay. Yes, I know. Because he's gotta go fast, boy, and... Where's the Pokemon gym? There it is. Excuse me. Yes, I would. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Switch on the PC. Okay, you say another important. Okay. So downstairs is for global connection. That kid just pushed me out of the way. Let's first poke around the town a little bit, kind of see what's going on with everybody. Rourke is our town's gym leader. He may be young, but he keeps the mines running safely and efficiently. Well, that's good. Okay, so we've learned that it's a rock type gym. Shocker. The town named Orark, or Or City, or whatever it's called, is a uh, rock type. Hello. I will bring you fossils when I find some. Something about the seafloor. Well, this is coal. I never expected something this big. Coal can get big. Uh, interesting. Nice little museum you got here. Looks like it's supposed to be a second floor, but it's not. Seems good. Uh, Pokemon Mart. Pokemart. Hello? Okay, we'll wait. Have you seen the vents? They release steam from down below. Do you have a Pokemon called Machamp? Machamp for an Abra. You know, I would like an Abra. Let's go see if we can dip our toe into this uh, cave up here and get a Machamp real fast. Or any Pokemon. Machamp? Zubat. Shocker. Go! Dimwit! 
It's a level six Zubat. I don't think it's withstanding a tackle. Oh, it's still a tackle. But it's not withstanding a second tackle. There's a Geo dude. I know Mod Champs are in here. Or Mod Chops. Not Mod Champs. I would never dream of Mod Champ for an app breath. It seems really stupid. Good boy, Victor. Sparky grew to level 11. Another Geodude! Oh, I didn't mean to use Tackle. It's a crit! I didn't mean to leave the cave. The entrance sucked me through. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Another Geodude. Okay. Stop with the tackles. They don't do shit on Geodudes. Zubat! Oh my god, not chops are not in here. Oh, you know what? Where they are? They are in the mines. I was thinking they're in this cave. They're in the mines, aren't they? Top gun, you're level 12. Cool. You know how Pokemon have different natures, like we have personalities? I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Okay, it's explaining shiny Pokemon. Hello, kid. Oh, 
Oh, a dust ball. Nice. Thank you. I'm sorry, did you just say you named your Psyduck Yellow? Because of logic? <laughs> okay. This is also the Abra check, right? Yep. She's waiting to trade for an Abra, so let's go get her a Machop. Super potion, thank you. I think I have to talk to Mike before I go down here so I can get the gym leader back. So let's go talk to the uh, hyperactive Mike over here. And then we'll go into the coal mines, get our Machop, get the gym leader, and we will get going into the gym. Huh? Oh, it's you, cousin. You finally got here. It's You're slow like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, the Orberg Mine. Sorry, Vector. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but... Alright, let's go talk to this gym leader. Geo, dude. <laughs> Super effective. Hell, I'm a sturdy. There it goes. Dimwit grew to level 14! Good job, Dimwit. X defense. And a Zubat. I might not. I don't want to fight Zubats. <sighs> yeah, might as well. Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps throwing Pokemon with them. We may challenge the battles. Don't have sturdy. It's just annoying. Thank you. Onyx. Oh, he looks so cool in this game. What's up, Onyx? You're going down, though. I'm sorry, buddy. Ow. Hold on, was sturdy. How are you liking the game, sir? It's pretty much the same as Diamond. It just looks fancy. Um, 
There's little tiny tweaks and new updates and stuff like that that's uh, in the game. Obviously, to keep up with the uh, new generation and all of that, they have some new moves. They, uh, I mean, this is new from Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, where the experience points are spread across the board from the very get-go. You can turn that off, obviously. Ooh, fight. Uh, let's learn. Let's forget Leer. Um, otherwise, there are, like, little tiny things that are different. Like, some dialogue stuff uh, that I've been noticing that's just a little bit different. Uh, items are done a little differently. Like, you get ten potions off the freaking bat, which surprised the hell out of me. Because normally you only get one from your PC and one from uh, the lady that's in the the grass otherwise like i haven't gone too far to really be like oh yeah there's so much different stuff and typically with remakes there's there with the remakes from pokemon there's stuff that they add post game so when you finish the game you kind of have some new stuff to mess with and stuff wait i want this match up on 207 they've become the most three targeters okay but there's some stuff that you know there's just some stuff that's different and typically very very beginning game not much is going to be different as we get farther into it we'll probably be seeing like more differences here and there it's obviously not going to be anything crazy. Because it is just a remake. It's not like a completely new game. But like with uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they added a whole new island that had a lot to do with post-game stuff. Otherwise, loving the game. Uh, it is reminding me. I know they did some stuff different with the mining stuff. Um, like when you're able to go underground and such. I know there's some stuff that's new in that. Oh, oh, Victor. Oh, boy. Your limp mode activated right now. I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, I see how it's pretty much just graphical... Update with minor changes. I can't wait to get more games for myself and even get Pearl to play. Yeah, I really want you to get Pearl, because I want to see... Oh god. Ow. Ow. I want to be able to trade with you and battle with you. That'd be really fun. Um, I know you probably saw it, but I made you the, uh, the rival in this game. Because you got me the game, so I felt like that was appropriate. Double team. We don't need to get double team on Top Gun. But I want you to get Pearl. Uh, I don't know if you'd be interested in... Uh, in Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu. It was a fun game, but it would be one of those... Play it if you liked the first gen Pokemon. Or if you just like Pokemon. An escape rope, thank you. Uh, let's see, what other games would you probably really like on the Switch? I would like to introduce you to Pikmin. Pikmin is... Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> all the hypes. Pikmin would probably be a really good game for you to play. Uh... I found it fun. There's co-op modes in it as well, so we can play it together if we wanted to. Um... I enjoyed Pikmin. Pikmin was one of those games that I got on the GameCube, which actually I found my GameCube. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> um, but... P 
Pikmin was one of those games that I played on the GameCube that I need to get for my Switch just because it's like nostalgic. Um, let's see what else. I need to kick your ass to Smash. That's a that's a given. Uh, you don't have to get Smash though because we can play it on my Switch. Ah, uh, let's see what else. There's other games that I want to. That I want to get personally, and that I know you'd probably want to get. I know you probably want to get Luigi's Mansion, because you said you played that as a kid. And one thing I really like about the Switch is that it's like a lot of the games that are in it or on it are very nostalgic for GameCube players. Like they kind of tapped back into that old market, and I love it because it's giving me major nostalgia. And they're redoing games from, like, old systems that I love. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden room mo <laughs> hidden move rock smash, get rid of the boulder by blocking your way. Luigi's Mansion is one I want. I want to play that one. I was determined to finish the one on the 3DS before I played it. I never finished the one on the 3DS. Fallen boulders need to get smashed with the out of the way. If you can get the badge from the gym and down, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me! Okay. So, this guy said he got his Machop on 207. I want my Abra. So, if I can go to Route 207, I don't know if it's possible to go- Hi. You're disrupting my monologue. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible to get to Route 207 right now. But, uh, I believe that's the one just north. I don't know if we have to go up the waterfall to get to 207. I want to say the one just north of Orberg is 207. Right before the mudslide thing that you need the bike for. But we'll see. Oh my god, Geodude, let me leave. Are you still playing through the 3D- or the- is it the 3DS edition of Diamond or was it the regular D I think you had it on the 3DS. Are you still playing through... Platinum? I think that's the one you were playing. Ow. Get wrecked, Rock. I'm level 15. I'm probably going to evolve in the gym. Uh, let's go to Orberg City. Okay, let's. What's the route just north of here? Is that 207? It should be 207, right? 207, okay. I have Platinum on DS. I need to play it more. Yes, you do. Machamp? Machop? Machop. Finally! I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at this guy. One, two, three. Click. Gotcha, my job was got. He's not staying. It hefts a grappler repeatedly to strengthen his entire body. He uses every type of martial arts. I will give him a nickname and we're gonna name him uh, Gabe. Because that's my old MMA trainer. So, I think it's fair. Oh, I see berries up there. Two Pokeballs! I knew there was something here. And then the mudslide, yeah. Okay, so we can't do anything with that mudslide there. Ah, now there's just Ma Champs out the wazoo. Ma Chops. I keep wanting to call them Ma Champs. I don't know why. They're not champions yet. Mike, you have so many new games to play, though. You have, uh... You do need to finish Platinum on the DS. You need to keep playing Animal Crossing. We need to play more... Oh, God. Gabe's gonna get some experience. We need to play some more, uh... Mario Kart and... Hello, Dimwit, First Blood, and Gabe. Uh, actually, Dim... First Blood went into the PC. I only have First Blood because he was, uh... Our First Blood, obviously. But... It up in the top over there from left to right to left to right so the church wig 
is Dimwit. Then we have Starly, the top top gun, the Starly. We have Sparky, the uh Shanks, and then we have Gabe. Who's being traded for an Abra who has a really stupid name, probably, because typically the ones that have... Uh... Come here, Gabe. Oh, I missed a few minutes. I'm not so sure. Yeah. Bye, Gabe! You were only caught to be traded to this little child. To Hillary. Goodbye, Gabe! I want the Abra. What is the name of this Abra? Just Gabe. Kaza! What's up, Kaza? I I will accept Kaza. Kaza is actually a cool name. It sleeps for 18 hours a day. Even when awake, it teleports itself when remaining seated. Be nice to my Abra. I'll be sure to look after your Machop in return. And it's holding something. What is? Is it holding a note? Sometimes they're holding messages. Oh, it's holding a little Orenberry, and we can teleport to the nearest Pokemon Center. It's like free scape ropes. Sweet. Okay, well, with Gabe Gun, we now have a Kaza. Let's check out uh, Kaza's summary. It is a male psychic type buried held item. Yep. It's quiet by nature. I think it's quiet good for Abra. From what I can tell, this Pokemon was nine at the level of time. What level is it? Nine? Okay, it's, not, it's alert to sounds. It likes dry food. Ups the special attack down speed. Yes, okay, so, uh, uh, quiet is actually a, uh, nature that we would want for an Abra. Synchronize. The attacker will receive the same status condition if it inflicts burns, poisons, if it inflicts a burn, poison, or, uh, paralysis to the book one. And it only knows teleport. Okay, so we're gonna need to level him up a little bit to get some more moves on him. But right now, Abra is part of the team, and Kaza is gonna be staying with us for a little while. I don't know about Sparky. Sparky right now is the questionable Pokemon on the team. He's kind of just here for diversity and to make sure that we have um, flying types covered. He'll be the first to go. <laughs> that's, that's just... Ooh, pretty. We gotta talk to Mr. Hipster over here. Hello. Howdy! How's it going, champ the bay? That's what I said to a really important bo impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is the user of a rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass-type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for your weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. It's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Okay. You avoid the long way around? I don't see why you did that. I'm pretty sure Jonathan only has a Geodude. Yep. <laughs> Let's go, Dimwit. You're leveling up in this gym and you're evolving. Don't have Sturdy. Thank you. Wow. Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put that Quick Claw on Dimwit. Because Dimwit ain't the fastest dumbass in the world. Only those who want to win can challenge Jim. That's not what that said at all. Like. Look at little Victor right here. Oh, there he goes. Oh god, how many Pokemon did you just have? Three? Was it two Geodudes and an Onyx, or is that the Gym Leader? I know the Gym Leader has an Onyx. Hi, Victor. Alright, Leafage, go! Quick Claw popped! Done. Guys, I grew to level 10. Okay, so here is the Onyx. Oh, you only had two Pokemon. Okay. Leafage! 
used bind, that's fine. We're not planning on escaping anyway, and that only did one HP. You think that being squeezed by a giant rock snake would do more than one HP to my little tiny turtle? Ow, Victor. Ow, Victor. Ow, Victor. Don't bite the necklace. Ow, Victor! Ah, this is humiliating. There you go, Victor. Relax. Relax. No, no, not the necklace. Alright, so we're actually going to save the game for the first time. Always save next to the gym leader. In case something goes wrong, only you can prevent lost save data. Welcome, this is Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rorik, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader- Oh god, Victor, you're falling! I need to see your potential as a trainer! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- Okay. I was trying to help you. I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that will battle with you. I like the gym music. Rourke, send out Geodude! Easy. God, just don't have sturdy. It's only going to prolong the inevitable. Okay. How close are we? To le oh, we're leveling up. Cool. So we're evolving after this match. Tom Gun got to level 14. Kazu grew to level 11. Nice. Uh, we will stick with Dimwit. Dimwit's got this, uh, this gym in a bag. Stealth rocks. Okay, so switching out would be a bad idea anyway. Yeah, of course you have Sturdy. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and use a Tackle, because you literally have one HP. And we're going first! Thank you, Quick Claw! Dimwit's not the fastest turtle. Both mentally and physically. He's not the fastest turtle. But he's a turtle, and he's here to, uh, just destroy things. Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? Alright! Mike, hydrate, stretch. Oh god. Posture check. Okay. Anything else, Mike? Hydrate. You gotta take a drink too, buddy. You're at work. You're you're the one outside doing shit. I'll check my posture. I know I'm slouching right now because Victor's been sitting in my lap. Oh god, that cracked my back! You like my you like my Christmas sweater? Have you seen this? I don't think I've shown this to you. I think you need to see this, but this is my ugly Christmas sweater. I bought it many, many years ago at Box Lunch. I need to take you to Box Lunch. You would love it there. Uh, but yeah. And by many, many years ago, I mean like two? Two years ago? Uh, but yeah. Jingle Bells Taco Shells. And I wear it once a year. And <laughs> it really needs to be washed. Because it smells like it's been sitting in a closet for a year. Because it has. Hello, sorry. I like to spam them all at once. I took a drink. Good. Tell Adam to take a drink too. Fuck it. Just tell Adam, fuck you, take a drink, don't ask questions. <sighs> what? That can't be my buffed up Pokemon! You show me that sweater, I love it. Okay, I wasn't sure if I pulled it out before. Victor, I have Chulip playing on the TV, so Victor is uh, watching Chulip right now. Oh! <laughs> what? Top Gun is evolving. Hi, baby boy. That's a good boy. Top Gun evolved into Staravia. Victor, you gotta you gotta grip yourself on here, buddy. They fly around forests and fields in search of bug Pokemon, moving together in huge flocks. Nice. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. That's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. Aw, oh, Victor. Little baby boy. You received the coal badge from Rourke. 
Having that coal badge means you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Pokédex. Here, you should also take these. TM76s. Each TM76 contains the move Stealth Rock. To move that inflicts damage to opponents that switch into battle. And these are stickers I use. Here, take stickers. Obtain the stickers that Rock uses. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break once you use it. So be certain you want a Pokemon to learn that move. What do I do with stickers? Oh, in the guidebook. Hold, press and hold the arm running to close the Pokedex. Oh, okay, so you can. Oh! I'd rather have it up. Not gonna lie. Ooh, Pokemon! Hey, what's up, Matt? Okay, so next, I think we need to go up to Floroma Town. Yeah, because this. That's later. So we need to go up to Floroma Town. Well, I'll be back in a minute. Gotta do some things really quick. Have fun! How's the game so far? I am loving it. Uh, it is everything that you wish for in a uh, remake. I enjoyed like the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Obviously, that was like one of my favorite remakes because Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, but this game is actually really fun. I'm not enjoying the art style. I have a problem with the art style. I don't know why the little cheapy characters just uh, doesn't fit the Pokemon for me, like the Pokemon games for me. They're cute. I'll give them they're cute. But otherwise, uh, I mean, the game's fun. The mechanics are really easy to pick up. There's a little bit of a weird thing with, like, the moving mechanic and going into a door, but that also might just be because I'm not used to 100% the joystick of a, uh, of a Switch. God fucking damn it. Hi. Whoops, Kaiser, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place in the gym gives away a badge, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eternal Gym badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine! Boo! Who's got time to count? Same. Between then, the RC is coming out soon. Figured I'd only buy that one. I'm going to be getting Arceus as well. Um, I'm very excited for Arceus because, I mean, hello. Um, but I really wanted to get the remakes because the remakes always have something new and special to it. Um, Diamond and Pearl had a really good mining system. Like, you go underground and you dig for little ores and stuff like that. And that was something I always really enjoyed playing around in. Um, and... I know they did it differently in this remake, so you don't just have the little thing and all that, you have to do something different. So I'm actually super stoked to get to that town and get that mining set. I doubt I'm going to be able to tonight because I'm probably only going to be live for another 30 minutes because I have to go to bed to wake up at 5 a.m. I have to wake up at 3 a.m. to get to work at 5 a.m. But, um... Yeah, like, I'm... I was excited to play the remake. Like, it wasn't one of those games where I was like, I have to have it, but I really, really wanted it. I didn't have to have it like the day it released, I should say. I wanted to get it the day it released, but money and Christmas. Yeah, I know, no, that it's stupid early. And I'm really upset. <laughs> okay, we're going north. Ooh, listen to that music. Listen to that trumpet. Ah, Kaiser, impeccable timing as always. We've met like once before, Rowan. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, will you? Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't come to collateral damage. Kaiser, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. Okay.
You are challenged by Team Galactic Grunts. Zubat and Wurmple. Why do you have a Wurmple? Dimwit and Piplup. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and body the Zubat right fast. And we're popping with the Quick Claw. Not bad. Not bad at all. What level is Piplup? 13? That's not bad. Okay. And these guys are level 9? Okay. Piplup, just take down that Wurmple. We'll be good. Okay? Cool. Thanks. Pimple, this is water gun. Good job. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing to children. This won't do. Time for a retreat. This mission is a failure. Got several thousand dollars for winning. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is non relevant to all, we shall leave. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? Did you name your portrait to a damn way? The chat did. When Pokemon evolved, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Kaiser, well done. You battle quite capably. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with the Pokedex. Guys, did you know that the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some unexpected Pokemon must undergo evolution too. So, guys, let's keep working on our Pokedex prize for the, for the, for the professor. Hello, random lady that saw the battle. Whoa! What was that just now? That was amazing! Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them! Whew, that was a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name's Bibi, and I work on a system administration in Hearththrome City, east of here. As for now, thanks- As- Now- that As- Now- <laughs> Now! As for putting out such a good show! I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere! I'll give you these ball capsules to you. Ball capsules? Okay. You can use the ball capsule- Uh- Capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon's ball capsule and it'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Oh, they brought this thing back. Okay. 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 I appreciate you. I actually really enjoyed putting ball capsules on my Pokeballs. Oh, there's a whole app to it. Hold on. Back it up. Hold on. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, they brought this back, and I'm happy. Oh, these are some that, uh, what's-his-name uses, isn't it? Yep. Whoa, it's not just based on what ball you brought it in. No! It's based off- So, the ball that you caught it in will be a factor in it. But, also, these stickers. Oh, you can rotate. Let's, let's put a smoke sticker on the back. So when you throw the Pokemon out, little, little things will happen. As it looks like he's farting. That's okay. <laughs> Noise. They used to be really cool. Okay. We're gonna give Dim with the special ball. Select. Oh yeah, I caught a Bidoof, and that was my my first Pokemon in the game, so I named it First Blood. <laughs> oh god. Found an antidote. Noise. Wow. Yep. That's me. Hi Matt, how you doing? I don't think there's anything over I 
Oh, just a random Bidoof showed up and, uh... Rock Doom! My cat has just passed out of my lap. Like... Ugh! He is out, out. Yeah, this guy is out, out. Okay. Okay, careful not to wake the boar baby. Hey, Junky Sushi, how you doing? Long time, no speak. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm at Merry Christmas. I never said Merry Christmas. Oh, I texted you Merry Christmas earlier, but you know, whatever. Merry Christmas, everybody. How'd you guys' Christmases go? Hope everybody had a good holiday. We texted, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, but still. I get to say it to you now. So Merry fucking Christmas. But Merry Christmas again. Damn straight. <laughs> it's not the same when you get to say it to somebody. I'm wearing my ugly Christmas sweater. It says Jingle Bells, Taco Shells, and it's a Taco Bell sweater. Because, uh, Taco Bell. Duh. Oh, this guy has sturdy... Sorry, Victor. Shaboom. Thank you, Geo Dude. Christmas is the twenty fourth where I live. Oh, you're over in, uh... Is it England that does that? Where they have the thing on the 24th. I can't remember what the whole... Denmark! Denmark! That's right! Is it really on the 24th? Is it still Christmas or is it a different holiday? Like, like explain... Explain the Christmas in Denmark. Because I've heard that there's different, like... I know there's different ways of celebrating Christmas, essentially. Ah, uh, still Christmas. Okay. It's just celebrating on the 24th instead of the 25th. Well, I hope you had a great Christmas yesterday. And got uh, all the things that you could have ever wanted, and then some. And got to spend it with family and people that you love and care about. God damn it! I did not uh, want to spend Christmas with this Badoo. Not gonna lie. He's poisonous. Such a toxic for do, I know. He made it a point to be poisonous. Damn, what leveled up to level 17? Wants to move curse? Uh, we're gonna keep old moves. I don't really like curse that much. Ow! Right, but poison. Uh, you know, we are gonna switch Pokemon to Top Gun. Come on, Top Gun. You have a wing attack that will just completely demolish this guy. And there he goes. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. Okay. You keep sniffing those flowers, honey. Yep, come on. What's your opinion on bug Pokemon? Well, they're annoying. And they're bugs. Pokemon, catch your Brandon. Go on, Dimwin, I know you can do it! Oh, I hate Krikatot. Use Growl! Oh god. I'm really surprised Victor's in my lap right now and not going to watch his show. I have his show playing on the TV on mute right now. Because I figured it would, you know, give him something to do while I streamed, but instead... He wants to curl up and sleep in my lap, and it's adorable. 
I'm glad we have a mutual understanding that he can be in my lap, but not on my chest anymore. For now. Damn, missing his soaps? I know! <laughs> missing his soaps. Victor, you're missing your soaps. Oh, boy. I'm glad Victor doesn't watch soap operas. That would be really annoying, because I hate them. I feel like Victor would watch them, though. If I put them on and they were action-packed enough and they were, like, they were colorful enough, I feel like he'd be, like, all up against the screen. You can't see it right now, the way that my chair is turned, but I bought him a giant plushie. Because he likes soft things for Christmas. I bought him a giant plushie. It's really cute. I'll see if I can do it before, uh, I'll see if I can move before ending stream. I don't want to disturb him right now. He's, like, past- he's, like, conked the hell out. Okay. Let's see. Do I have an antidote? I do. Oh, they just hand you, like, ten potions at the beginning of your game, Matt. Like, literally, you walk up to the lady that's standing in the grass, and she's like, Oh! Here, try one of these potions! Hands you ten. And you're like, whoa, okay. Because normally you get one from your PC, and you get one from the lady in the grass. And I went to the PC several times, and I was like, why can I not get one from the stand PC? It's just not giving it to me. Walk out into the grass, and it was like, here's ten! And I was like, oh, okay, lady. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to hand these out to different people. Like, ten different people, not just me. But okay. They're making these games easier and easier with everyone. I know, it's sad. But... Eh. I don't play these games for the difficultness. I play them for the fun. And to see the new Pokemon. And to have, like, the old storylines and everything. So, whatever. If they want to make it handhold easy for the kids that are trying to get into it again, that's fine. Like, they don't need to be hard, but still, some challenge is nice. And there's still some challenge. It's just... Not much. Especially not anymore, and especially not for us. Like, I don't know. If I want challenge, I'll go do a, a Nuzlocke somewhere. Sparky grew to level 15. Kaza grew to level 14. Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 but wait. Why do you kids have 15 or $1,100? What? Sparky is evolving. The Pokemon that's probably not going to stay on the team for the entire game is evolving. Luxio. I don't know, I still think playing Final Fantasy 1 as a kid ruined me on RPG expectations. That's fair. It's claw- It's claws lose electricity- Lose- It's claws lose electricity with enough amperage to cause opponents to faint. It gives- It lives in small groups. Oh, I took this from its family. That's awkward. Bullet seed! No, thank you. Why are you out here? Go on, Dimwit, you can do it. I'm I'm not facing a Zubat. Sorry, Zubat, but you're just really not worth it. Do any of you give me anything? Any of you? Okay. No. I do like the Poketech in this game, though. I wish the Poketech appeared in more of the games, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's a really good little device for the corner there. And it has so many different uh, uses and apps. I really like it. Like, they really did something different with it. And I wish that more Pokemon games had something like it. 
Oh wow, you can buy super potions already. I think they'll be going forward, except with Ar Arceus. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm spelling it wrong, but it will. Uh, Ar no, I think that's spelled correctly, actually. The doorways in this game with the movement style, I'm finding just, I'm getting annoyed with it. It's not like it's a bad feature. It's not like it's like hard to do. Okay. I don't think it's like hard. It's just I'm finding myself running directly into the wall. Like just some of the like I'm finding myself here and then trying to slide into that doorway. I just feel like the doorway is just a little too small. Spray duck. Nice. It's just a little too small for the character sprite. Considering isn't Arceus said in the past time, so I doubt there will be too much technology type stuff. But there's still Pokeballs, so maybe, I don't know, seems weird, so it's also really going to be cool. So, from my understanding, Arceus is set in a time... Arceus is set in a time when you're it's not Pokeballs yet, it's like a different way of capturing them, I guess. I'm not hundred percent sure if I'm honest with you. I need to read I need to look into Arceus again. Aren't we Team Galactic and we're assigned here? Standing among flowers, this doesn't seem all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a very decent assignment, but bug type and grass type Pokemon do creep me out. I don't like being here either. I like how there's a path that you're like supposed to take through the flowers, but most people just, oh, everybody just runs straight through. But Arceus is supposed to be set like before Pokeballs and technology, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. Help! Help! Trainer! Please, can you get my papa for me? He works in the Valley Windworks, but the people dressed like space aliens are mean and won't let me in. I got you, kid. Found a potion. Yeah, Victor, you're just sliding right off my lap. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got orders to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. Give me a look that makes me think you're going to try to get in. Okay, then well, maybe you have to battle me for it. Okay, let's go. Oh. You're okay, Victor. You're okay. Sent out Glam Meow. Oh, there you go, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to help you. <sighs> Damn it, Glammeow. Oh, From Wikipedia. Oh, God. 
Okay. From Wikipedia, the game is set in a bygone era of the Sinnoh region's history, which appears to be based on Japan in the 19th century, when it was known as the Haisu region. Long before the events of the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and its remakes take place, one, two, three, it was stated that the objective of the game would be to create Haisu's first Pokedex. Four, the mythical Pokemon Arceus will play a major role in the story. Three, players have captured Pokemon directly in the overworld immediately without going into battle and can engage in battle by releasing Pokemon they have previously captured near a wild Pokemon. Some wild Pokemon still need to be copy of battle style. Pokeballs in this era were made of wood and puffed steam when the Pokemon was cut. Oh yeah, that's right. It's like a steampunk style wood looking ball. I remember this now. It looks interesting. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha ha! In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Okay. It does. It does seem very interesting. I'm very interested in playing. Oh! God! Damn it, Shellos. No. I don't really want you. I'm sorry. You're a water type. You're water ground type. I get that. You're cool, but I don't want you and your head penises. Please get off my screen. Thank you. Aw, Pachirisu. Again, super cute. Cool to have on team. Not gonna have it because I already have Sparky. Use quick attack. Ow. Down, Pachirisu. I can't remember what else is in this grass. We're gonna give it one more Pokemon to see if it's anything that we want, and then if not, we're moving on. Ow. Head penises. Nope. Again, having a water type on the team would be great. I just don't want this one. Okay. I know, Victor. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid what this kid is a witness. What will we do? We can't have that brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We must ensure that the brat stays quiet. <laughs> Sent out a wormpole. Okay. Oh god, don't actually have poison on it. Please, thank you. Top Gun grew to level 16! Oh god, a Silcoon. Okay. This will be easy. I don't know why I didn't switch to Top Gun. Top Gun would have had this over and done within like one move. Oh, you have Harden, that's right. Ah, oh, boy. This is a Metapod remake for third gen. And just as annoying. Damn it, grew to level 18! Kaza grew to level 15! This is why I'm gonna be stuck as a grunt forever.
Oh, big stretch, Victor. What? Dimwit is evolving. Bum, 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 bum. Congratulations! You're a dimwit evolved into a grottle! It lives along water and forests. In the daytime, it leaves the forest to sunbathe on trees in a shell. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. I'm up next! Battling you right after my cohort is weak and you gives me the edge. You have one Pokemon. And it's a Zubat. I don't think you have that much of an edge. Let's just tackle you. I should teach Grottle a rock type move. Come on, Dimwit. 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 Dimwit! <sighs> yeah, baby boy. Don't open your eyes. Oh, good, Dimwit. It just took one smack to knock him out of his confusion. I can accept that. I can respect that. That's fine. You had a Zubat! This brat's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words. And I know a lot of words. We're done for now. Let's get back to the Valley Wind Works. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a work ski. It must be for the Valley Wind Works. They're no use to me. You may have it as well. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense, either. Oh, I need to thank you. Take this as my thanks. Okay. I'm gonna go slide this on your tree. You slide that honey on a sweet smelling tree and might attract Pokemon. Uh, let's not do it on this tree. Is there anything over here? Other than your tree? No. Okay. Anyone inside? Where were you guys? Behind a tree, check my glitter, see if it's rustling, blah 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 blah. Okay. I'm not putting it on your tree though, because I've never had luck on your tree. I'm literally putting it anywhere else. I think there's a tree over here. Yep. Not over here. Over here? No. Over here. Cool. It's off from inside. Would you like to use work ski? Kerchunk, the door to the valley when works is open. We're gonna do the valley when works and then we're calling it for the night. Because I said I was getting off at 9 and it's already 5 past and I want to finish this. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Okay. First things first. Nothing over here. Cool. Send out a cascoon. Well, fuck. Quit using Harden.
Okay, I really need to switch to Top Gun. Put him out front for a little while. We are about to go through a forest as well. So it would make sense for Top Gun to be out here. And Glammeo. Oh, we'll still switch it out. I really don't like kids who also have to be tough trainers. I want a Team Galactic's three commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Such a close up of her face there, I know. All 12 pixels that made up her face. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Winning. <laughs> oh god, poor ugly. Ugly ass cat. Oh, I didn't realize that was part of its tail. Oh, that made it worse. Victor, that cannot be comfortable, my love. Did you just use Growl again? Yeah, it did. Ugh. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to Sparky here. You would have a berry. Would bite do much more? I don't feel like it would. No.
Top Gun grew to level 17. Sparky grew to level 16. Kaza grew to level 16. Kaza grows evolves at level 18, 17, 18. No, 16, okay. Kaza is evolving. Here's the problem, though. I don't have any friends to trade to level up into an Alakazam. Cool. Ah, oh, fuck. If one is nearby, an eerie shadow appears on TV screen. Seeing the shadow is said to bearing bad luck. You know a psychic type move! Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can tell how grateful I am to you for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Yuck! Papa, you're stinky! Go shower now, stinky! Ah, oh, sorry. They had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go- Ow! Go away! <laughs> I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. If I decide to get the game soon, I'll let you know for a trade. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go back to uh, Flora Town. Flora. Fla Flora Town. And uh, save the game from the Pokemon Center after we've healed. But see what I mean? The door's just a little too big for the sprite. Although, I do like one thing. You do not have to hold the B button to run. Like, you just have to push forward. So, like, instead, like, I can put this controller down, right? Down. So, I can walk by just barely holding the controller. Control stick. Like, just barely holding it. And then to run, I just hold it, like, full force. So I can have, like, this hand completely free. Don't even need the other joystick. I can just run around. That's- I, I think that's nice. Um, so next time, when we get a chance to play this game again, we are going to be going up Route 2 of- I also like that you can see the numbers on the actual signs. That's really fucking nice. We're going to be going up onto the next route and progressing in the story and getting our second gym badge, I believe- can we see gym badges? Where's the trainer card? Hello? Uh, view badges. But, uh... You don't have to polish them this time. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, but yes. So, next time we will be going on to the second gym and going... And getting that super easy because this game is easy. Because... Pokemon is easy. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to getting to like the actual mining underground thing because that was one thing that I really liked in the first game. Uh, or the original game. I want to see how they do it in this version. Uh, and then... What else was there? I want to see what there's post-game. Because post-games typically have something new in the remakes. I'm excited to see if they did anything new with Dialga. Because... Uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do new things with the legendaries. Other than that, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be pretty much base Diamond Pearl, which is fine. There's some, like, dialogue changes and, like, maybe a new character or two, but it's not going to be much different. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will, uh, pick this up hopefully... Yep. Okay. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.